All right, we're back to some Kingdom of Heaven play. Back to, back to some good games, nice and slowed down, doing things right. Uh, another thing I just wondered, my last bitch about that tournament was, uh, I was thinking too, in that last game, if I would have played a game five and I would have scored four points, that would have helped. You know, I could have think I could have knocked the guy for nothing. So, I, like I said, I don't understand what happened, but uh, it's getting kind of feeling that it was a waste of time. But anyway, to get back with this game here, oh, it is the Christian player's turn, and he has very few cards. The thing we're looking at here is how to gather forces for the uh, battle to come. I do have my allies down here. And the combined force of uh, Kingdom of Jerusalem and the King and the Rebels might give me a chance, but it all depends on the card play or on what you can do. You know what you want to do, and what you're able to do, are two separate things. Let me check out these uh, cards here. We'll be right back. All right, I'm here doing some doing some winter painting. It's almost time to go back to work, but I just want to make note. It's a rainy day outside, raining its butt off. I got my best buddy Luker in here, but he seen that daddy was working. So he got up on his own, kind of seen him was getting busy in here. Walked on down here, came on in here, and little Luker's in his room being a good boy. <laughs> Is this dog got it made or what? Got a dog chair. He's blowing out. He's out though for a while. But yeah, he come in here. He goes, I know where my room is. Oh, Luca, life. What's up, Luca? Mama come home pretty soon. All right. Yep. We'll finish painting. Happy St. Patty's Day. All right. Well, since there's such a card shortage, I'm looking at the board here. Don't have enough troops here to uh, mess with the forces of Cairo. Even if the forces inside the city did sally forth and uh, join the battle. Which I don't think they can. I think this guy's got to attack first. It's got to be a separate thing. I don't think he and him can combine forces for the attack. I don't know why, but I looked at the rules and I don't think it does that. Um, I could be wrong. Got forces down here, but then again, don't have no cards. He requires a two card to activate. All I got are ones. Looking further up. Boy, I need those Christian forces. No way to get them yet, though, and they're all uh, got a initiative rating, as they call it, above above one, so I can't activate them. Oh, well, what to do, what to do. I thought about passing. Just discarding cards or something, trying to get rid of this uh Give me a new set. I get rid of this deck, give me a new set, but the more I do that, he'll just keep on whittling away, and he doesn't have Cairo yet, and that's a key. So, all these cards are good battle cards. I'll try to pick the least valuable battle card, because these are all, they got some nice little event battles. When it does, does come time to tangle with him, that'll come into play. Some good battle cards here, so I'll look through these three, find out which one is the least valuable and I will use that for a uh, vassal move I'll try to get this uh, crusader unit here he can only move four but if he starts and ends at a stronghold he won't have to forage so that'd be a one two three four he'll start at a good stronghold and at a friendly stronghold so no, don't have to worry about attrition on that so that's probably what I'm going to do I'm just trying to move forces hope these guys can hold out I got the big resistance factor, so we will see. Uh, we'll be right back. All right. Feigned flight. Play after the battle die rolls in which at least 50% of your forces were cavalry. Well, that won't apply to my units. So I will use this one as a discard. And I will move. One, two, three, four. And he will be at Gaza. Ready to join the forces as soon as he can. That will take care of my Christian player's turn. Let's see what we can do with the Muslims. We'll be back. All right, well, a uh, Muslim player is 
going to use this card for a siege event. And uh, old, uh, what's his name? Nora Den and his forces have come up with some uh, siege towers. He needs a manpower of two, which he has more than enough. And it will reduce the uh, resistance factor by two. So we'll replace this one with a six. And also, we get to draw a replacement card. So it is everything going the Muslim's way. Yeah, well, that's a Christian Christian card, so that was a bummer. But down here, we can reduce resistance factors. And if you see all this, we got all kinds of resistance factors to reduce, so it's a good deal. Most of the players got a good hand. Uh, that was that play. We are back. Whoa, twisting the camera all around. I know, yeah, I hate that. Back to the, oops, Christian player's turn. And uh, we will see how it goes. Uh, time's running out on the old gaming season. Uh, but I think I got another, another couple of weeks, two or three weeks. So I'm going to try to milk a week with this back injury or this hernia surgery. So I can maybe get two or three more weeks out of it. And then it'll be dusked or dawn till dusk. <laughs> oh, boy, I don't look forward to it. But I'll tell you what, I really enjoy my time off. Two or three months off of work is great. Um... I've been playing this game for about a freaking year. <laughs> so when I get done with this scenario, I think we're going to move on to something else. I, like I said, I got something else in the pipeline. Maybe there's something here I haven't played yet. Whoops. We will see. But uh, yeah, we'll be switching up to another game here. But yeah, oh, we have been through and through with Kingdom of Heaven. I was playing this last gaming season. So it just shows you. You know, you got you got the player aid guys that go through <laughs> two or three games a week. Wow. How do you even do that? I just cannot imagine. I mean, I got time off. I'm not even working, and I still can't play. Well, I have, you know, surgeries, and I got honeydew list, painting, and doing all kinds of stuff, but uh, taking care of that stuff during the winter. But, yeah, love me some gaming seasons. I do have, I have been playing some good video games, so I like to play those things every once in a while. We'll be back with this very interesting Kingdom of Heaven scenario. All right, we got a little tip for tat going on here. And the Christian player has captured uh, the enemy foraging party. Manpower one, got plenty of that. Inside of the city. Play for stronghold is blockaded, which it is. One enemy step is eliminated and reduced the enemy resistance factor by one. Huh, hold on a second. Not what I thought it was. Oh, this is for the attacker. Oh, this, oh okay. Well, this, <laughs> this would have been a good card for the... Uh, Muslim player. <laughs> Alright, well, that's the key. You see that A? That's for the attacker. That's why I didn't our scene, but wasn't. This one here could be used by both. So we'll, ch we'll check this one. Play on a phone is besieging force. He must roll for every unit and leader in the force. A five or six uses. Oh, dude, happy days, happy days. So, Christian player will be playing the old ep epidemic card. All right. Well, six, the leader dies. Oh, this is going to be good. Unless it is an opponent ranking leader, in which case is removed from a forest pool. Look, look at that one. Any and all surviving besieging units slash leaders may accompany him there. Siege is broken off. Oh, then we'll see if epidemic spreads to your side. <laughs> yeah, I love this game. This is a good game. We might go on to the next scenario and just hold off. <laughs> Alright, well here's what we're going to do. Go ahead and play that card. This one, back over here. There we go. Oh, 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 there you go. So you throw this card down on your, on your, your old uh, opponent and let him start reading. Uh, we're going to move some things around, check some stuff out. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, we're looking for the app epidemic that has hit the Muslim forces five and six they lose a step one with the first one one he's unscathed next unit four he's unscathed now for a leader now in a six the leader dies so what we got going on here two he's fine next Seljuk cavalry five 
I believe that will reduce it one. On a five or six a unit loses a step. So we will go to Seljet Calvary. All right, let's go for another one. Another one takes a loss. Run down those Seljets. All right, another one. Another one. Well, first group come unscathed, but now the epidemic is hammering some forces. Let's try this one. Oh, man. All right, well, now we got to roll for the leader. And if he gets a six, the siege is off because he is dead. Here we go. Oh, you know what? Oh, no way. Oh. All right, hold on a second here. Uh, on a six, a leader dies unless an opponent ranking leader, unless it's an opponent's ranking leader, in which he is removed from a force pool. All right, I think that is the ranking leader. Yeah, a Norden is the strongest leader on the board, that's for sure, so he will go to the force pool, not dead. Any and all surviving besieging unit leaders may accompany him there. Then roll to see if the epidemic hits my side. Oh, that's not good. All right, well, hold on a second here. All right, what do I do? All right. Casey, move for it. Any and all surrounding besieging unit leaders are accompanying him there. The siege is broken off. The siege is broken off because of a epidemic. So all these forces go with the leader into the force pool. Uh, hold on a second. All right, so you got to love those card events, card-driven games that bring up all kinds of unexpected events. And at the advantage of the Christian player, the siege is done. The siege is done. So now, let me go to see if the epidemic spreads to your side. Four to six, it does. Follow the express. So here we go. Ha oh, ha! Epidemic goes rampant. Goes through the city walls. And here we go. One, two, three, four. All right. Same thing. Same procedure. Uh. Let's start from the end. Away. Second one. Oh, not good. Oh, it takes my forces. All right. He's good. One more than the leader. Up. Oh. He's good. Now for my leader. Oh, five or six, he dies. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Let's see if the leader's right this side. Oh, on a six. Okay. Three. So the Christian leader, or the Batterman leader, comes away unscathed. And the epidemic goes down and just loses. Now, he's got a zero on here, so I wonder if he's eliminated. Huh. Don't tell you nothing. Probably is. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Well, there's the results of the card. And what a game changer that was. The old epidemic. We'll be back. All right. Then there you have it. Major epidemic. Totally wipes out the forces. Uh, besieging Cairo, and uh, they had it stacked. <laughs> you talk about a lifesaver, an act of God <laughs> for the Christian player. There they all are. Now, I think they might have to be uh, flipped over to a reduced side. We'll see what happens when the replacements come in. But, uh, yeah, we've got a couple leaders, everything over there. And also, I took the uh, Fatiman unit that was uh, reduced, or eliminated. Put him in the Christian force pool. I'm pretty sure that's the way that would have been done. But uh, back to the uh, Muslim player side. <laughs> wow. After shocking events. 
call this a video. Having fun with this game. Be back.